So I put together this little exhibition. I wanted to show you what I've been up to while um, lockdown's been happening and I haven't been able to teach my courses. I've been really enjoying being in the studio making things from forage materials. Um, I've been using clay that I dig from the woods and also barks that I've gathered. So I'm going to give you a little tour. Here are the clay planters. These are bonfire fired and they're 100% wild Sussex clay. You can see they have really beautiful textures. They're great for succulents. Did I say they were hung with hemp twine? Maybe I said that. Um, so I have a few of these. And I have these bark containers um, made from chestnut and willow and they have corded willow straps and they're stitched together with willow bark. And the ones with the little straps are great for hanging on pegs or nails. Really beautiful colours and textures. And all of these are complete one-offs because bark, it changes and twists as it dries. So quite a few of the ones I make actually don't really pass a quality control test. So these are very special for that reason. And then I've got four of these more sort of sculptural freestanding forms that have really amazing texture. They're like hollow trees or something like that because of the texture so amazing and the bark is really beautiful. And it's strong when it dries too. And then I have these two very small pouches, woven ones with the corded straps. And I made a series of lidded vessels with the wild clay. This is So this is 100% wild clay, there's no commercial clay added. And they've been fired in a clamp kiln in the woods. The lids are made from iris leaves from my flower garden and they're coiled together with hemp twine, that's a basketry technique. And the um, hinges are made from repurposed leather. So I'm selling these all as part of the Artist Support Pledge, which you might have heard about, which is a really fantastic artist-led scheme um, for supporting artists and makers during the time of COVID, when it's difficult for us to make a living. And I wanted you to have a preview because you're on my newsletter list. So in case there's anything you'd like to purchase, you can send me an email, tell me what you'd like, and I can let you know the price. Thanks for watching.